There's not much time before the full moon. If we're gonna meet, we should do it now. Are you sure now this is the best time to hang out? The full moon will be rising soon. And since I gave Lupin my Wolfsbane potion, I won't have control over myself when I transform. Trust me, I think taking your mind off your transformation is exactly what you need. Lupin thought so too. He did? I suppose it's alright. I know this sounds silly because he only just left, but I miss him already. I plan to write to him. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm a bit new to this hanging out thing. That's alright, we can just chat. What do you want to talk about? Hobbies. What do you do when you're not studying or helping Madame Humphrey? Mm. Normal stuff, I suppose? Reading, playing with boar, baking, listening to punk music? Punk music? Everyone has the same reaction when I tell them. Is it really so odd? Not odd, just unexpected from someone who looks as sweet as you. Mm. You know, I'm beginning to suspect you have an ulterior motive for chatting. I may or may not have used the opportunity to get to know you better. Should I not have? It's alright, I'm just not really used to talking about myself. That's alright, we don't have to talk. We can play gobstones instead. Mm. Gobstones in the dark? It'll make the game more interesting. Come on, let's play. Cool, we get a friendship event. Oh no, I wanted a friendship event. <laughs> okay, wait for my energy to refill. Ugh, I got gobstone liquid in my mouth. <laughs> nice shot, Kiara. Do all wolves love you, or is it only Borf? Kiara has a sweet sounding laugh. Aww. Don't worry, I'm sure that smell will come out eventually. Do you think it's odd I love gherkins but hate cucumbers? <laughs> I've never had a gherkin, so I have no idea. I haven't always wanted to be a healer. I wanted to be a unicorn when I was little. Don't we all? You know what else sounds like fun? Those muggle shoes with wheels. I'm rotten at gobstones. Normally I try to keep away from people the day of the full moon. There we go. Never had so much fun while playing gobstones. I'm glad it's good to see you laugh. Feels good to laugh. Thank you for taking my mind off things. I think it was exactly what I needed. Don't think I've ever been this relaxed before a full moon. <gasps> Wait, the full moon! It's almost risen! <gasps> You're not safe. Hogwarts isn't safe. I need to get somewhere safe. Kiara, wait! I've got a follow after her. No, I don't agree with this. Make sure she doesn't hurt herself or anyone. It's... You following after her is a risk of her hurting someone. <sighs> don't agree with this. Stay away from the training grounds. I don't... I really think we shouldn't do this. Uh, 
Oh no. I, I don't like. What are you doing here? Are you alright? I tried to make it to a safe place, but it's too far. There's not enough time. I feel like I'm about to transform any second now, but I'll try to hold it off while you run. I'm not gonna leave you. I said it before. Remember, you're always helping people. Now it's time to let someone help you. I don't agree this is helping. Don't let me hurt anyone. What is that? I won't let you hurt yourself or anyone else. Are we doing this to protect the school because she couldn't get to a safe place? I don't think she can get a hold of herself. It's not how it works. Talking to the werewolf does not help. <sighs> Remember, I don't... Remember your goals to invent a better way for werewolves to manage their condition. You want to help all those werewolves in need. Can't do that unless you get through tonight. Now apparently in this game world it's gonna help. Did it work? No! <laughs> no it didn't! Looks like words alone aren't gonna be enough. I could, I could see us following after her to make sure people at Hogwarts are safe. Ooh, oh no. Okay, can I do this? My tributes aren't that low. We can try it. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna assume a werewolf's gonna be aggressive, right? So, really? You went defensive. Okay, are you gonna stay defensive? I'm stunned? Yeah, I'm sure you have werewolf- Oh, and I'm bleeding! Oh no. This may be bad. Okay, now you're going aggressive. Let's heal. Looking at long-term goals here. Yeah, I'm only one behind in all the stats. Got a knowledge penalty. It's fine. It's fine. Now are you going to go aggressive again? Oh, this bleeding effect sucks. Oof. I gotta get a hit in on her, though. Low courage penalty, but I healed, which is nice, and then bled more. Defensive? It's fine. You can get first hit. I don't care. I need to heal again. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm not keeping my promise very well if I die. I don't think she can heal. Like a werewolf's not gonna drink a healing potion. So I'm gonna do it again. I know I'm taking the hit first, but the healing's important. Oh God. Stack more healing, please. I don't want to die. Alright. Now is she gonna stay sneaky? There's no way I can... <sighs> Frick. There we go. I would have gone aggressive and that would have blocked her. But I, w I didn't know she was going to stay aggressive. Okay, alright. That's okay. Should I just keep healing? 
I may just need to keep healing. But she keeps knocking me down. I don't know. I may be screwed. Healing may only be delaying the inevitable. Okay, alright, that's good. That's good. That's bad. Heal. I may be dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I should have healed. I lost. I want to try again. if I do a mix of healing and flipendo if that will help. I'm gonna heal now. Because flipendo is my highest hitter. She can't heal. That's the one thing I have going. So I just need to stay alive long enough to do enough damage. And then she hits me, and I am now at less health than she is. It's fine. I wonder if I just, if I flippendoed her the entire time? Could I do that fast enough? Because now we're about tied. I healed. If I flipendo her four times. So if I flipendoed her now, she'd be down to here instead. I'm just concerned about being able to survive. I'm confident I can win this. I'm just not sure what the best strategy is. It's fine, you can hit me first. Now. Okay, as long as I don't die, I can I can defeat her. There we go. <sighs> A one. That was rough. Uh you're strong, you can get through this. You're not doing this alone, I'll be here for as long as you need. I won't let you hurt anyone or yourself. Because I'm your friend. Arrgh! Going away, f ran off toward the forbidden forest. That's not what it looked like. Should be safe there. Does this mean my words got through to her? I don't think so. <laughs> Did her wolf instincts decide heading toward the school wasn't worth the trouble of confronting me any further? What's this? A photo of a sunrise? Must have dropped it when she transformed. Better return this to her once the sun rises. Well, that was fun. Let's meet in the artifact room. Didn't, didn't put a timer on it? <laughs> Hi. You okay? I think you dropped a photograph. I wanted to return it. But at first I have to ask, how did the rest of your full moon go? Do you remember what happened? <sighs> I'm not sure if it was your words or spells that knocked some sense into me. 
but I was able to get control just enough to redirect myself to the Forbidden Forest. Hope I didn't hurt you too badly. It was nothing a pisky couldn't stitch up. I can't believe you didn't run when you saw me transform. Weren't you afraid? Sure. Keeping you and Hogwarts safe was more important. You were more important. To think you were afraid but still tried to help keep me under control. There's something I need to tell you about why I kept pushing you away. And about what happened after I became a werewolf. Wait, I know I kept questioning you before. But you don't have to tell me this if you don't want to. Especially if it's personal. But I do want to. I want to open up. I want to tell you why I was so reluctant to let you get close. Eight hours! <laughs> After Selena actually saw my werewolf form, she stopped talking to me. We'd move whenever neighbors got suspicious, so I never really had friends. Once I got close to a neighbor girl, Selena, and confessed I was a werewolf. My parents told me to never tell anyone, but I didn't listen. A werewolf wanted to abduct me for his army, but my parents drove him away. When I told my neighbor Selena that I was a werewolf, she accepted me at first. After you were bitten, your parents kept you away from people? You never let on about how much you went through, Kiara. If I were locked away, I would have snuck out to visit the neighbor kid too. Oh, did they lock her up? You were bit by the werewolf Frenier Grey back when you were only seven? Man, Frenier... <laughs> Frenier gets around. You had a friendship that didn't end well? Damn it! <laughs> I hit the button. It's just in time. <sighs> so you were betrayed by a neighbor girl you befriended? Mm. Selena was my best friend. When I told her I was a werewolf, she wasn't afraid. Uh. But when Selena actually saw me transform, she was terrified. I still remember the fear in her eyes. She wouldn't come near me after that. She was too afraid. Eventually I told my mom and asked her to use Obliviate on Selena. I didn't want her to have to live in fear. That must have been really devastating. Mm. After that, my parents didn't have to hide me away. I did so willingly. I didn't want to scare or hurt anyone else, so I decided it was better to not make friends. I've grown out of it a bit since coming to Hogwarts. Not really, girl. Scared with Pippa and you pushing to know more, it just felt uncomfortably familiar. I was wrong. You saw me at my worst, and you stuck by my side. So it's time I take a lesson from Pippa and stop running away. Mm. You mentioned you found a photograph of the sunrise that I dropped? Yeah, this one. Mm. Lupin said a friend of his named Prongs took that picture. He gave it to me to remind me that no matter how difficult the night of the full moon is, morning will always come. And I'm glad I found it. It clearly means a lot to you. Mm. It does, but I want you to keep it. What? I'm grateful, Kiara, but are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm sure, because now I know I can draw strength from something better than a photo. You mean... I realize now that you are truly my friend. Thank you for not giving up on me. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now I know I can make it through even the darkest night. So long as I have the support of my friend. And hopefully multiple friends. Cool, and now she's a friend that we can do friendship stuff with. What happened? Achievements? She gave us a photo, so that may be in our room now. I also discovered that... is it here? I can go in this logbook, and this is another time-related event. 
Um, so they'll keep them here. If I miss them, they'll be here and I can still do them. We're not gonna do that right away. Because I want to continue on with the story. But now she's here and I can go talk to her, I think, I hope. Open! No, oh, I meant to skip. Oh, so much extra energy. So many tripping frogs. Okay. So let's see. What she's gonna cost me. Because these guys cost too much right now. But you're only level one. Ah! <laughs> okay. Everybody costs more attributes than I have. All right, well, we will finally go talk to Bill now. Hi, Bill. What's up? Bam! Whack! Did you get my owl? Kaboom! Yeah. What can I do for you, Heather Ainsley? You know who I am? Your brother was the talk of the Weasley household when the Daily Prophet printed his search for the Curse Vaults. Rumor is you're following in his footsteps. It's true, I wanted to see if I could ask for your help. I might be able to help you. Tell me what you want with the Curse Vaults. I think she wants to find her brother. <laughs> My brother is obsessed with the vaults and disappeared. I'm hoping something inside gives me clues to what happened. I'll help you. You will? Mm -hmm. Of course. The cursed ice is a danger to all of Hogwarts, and breaking a cursed vault might stop the ice. Besides, I've never been on a curse-breaking adventure before. This is how you get into your, your curse-breaking career. It's amazing, Bill. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. It'll take hard work and even a little pain to prepare to break a cursed vault. <laughs> Practice your spells in class, and I'll train you to duel. After that, we'll break the curse on this vault together. You can have me take classes. If you want to break the curse on a vault, you have to prepare. I gotta take transfiguration, but I need to take study sessions, so that's gonna that's gonna be a little while. Okay, well I know what to use my energy on. I forgot to show earlier that um. Chiara's thing. It doesn't give you anything, but it hangs up on your wall. That's cute. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the next one.